All right, guys, it's 9.02, so I think we should start this podcast by saying, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Buddha, back in the building for another LC Pro podcast with the boys, my co-hosts. We got Tweaks. What's up, fellas? And the Crip Man. <laughs> what's going on, guys? So uh, here we are for another day, part two of the Full Metal Alchemist collab. Uh, we've had uh, an extra day because the update was actually on a Wednesday, uh, which was a day earlier than we usually get it. Um, which is fantastic. Which is fantastic. Great. Gave, you know, gave Tweaks and Crypt an extra day. Not your boy Booty. Your boy Booty didn't get, uh, get, didn't get to test too much, but uh, gave the guys who will actually feed us the information uh, a day early to uh, just <laughs> unpackage the guy that you see in front of the screen right now. Oh, uh-huh. um, yeah. I mean, I I don't think any of us expected any less. They saved the uh, the big hitter for part two. Um, yeah, I mean, we talked about Ed. We saw how good he is in the first part, um, and we talked about him last week. And I don't think much has changed other than. Like my opinions on Ed, he's still an incredible unit. Um, but the ch- differences between his kit and his skills and just the way he works, um, like relative to Roy, um, Roy is clearly the the nuker of the two. Yeah, it's, I mean, um, it's like it, uh, it's like the Yoshi jump, right? Like Roy is Yoshi, or I'm sorry, uh. Ed is Yoshi and takes the first jump, right? And then Roy is Mario. Roy just jumps right off the back of his kit, and he's like, all right, but let me show you how I can do this better. So Roy makes it to the right. platform, and Ed, even though incredible, amazing, awesome unit, falls in the pit. Um, <laughs> so Roy Roy definitely head and shoulders above Ed. Um, Sadly. In, in, like, a technical sense, he just works better. Yeah, he's literally which, the upgraded version of him. Which is which is kind of crazy because I mean we were we had this discussion last week I mean and people when you know comments in the Discord was like Ed versus Lapsius right it was like man people were like oh well uh, Ed has higher DPS and I'm just like no there's st- it's still not a question Lapsius is what is um, still the, the the top DPS top burst DPS of of all the units if you've got um, the right and- setup. We're right, right. And I'm just saying, like, and, and that's when we compare things, is right. Like, we compare things at the highest level. So, even without like limited stuff, it's it's on their base kits with the the general stuff or SSRs that you're going to need to max them out. Um, Ed is going to fall very far short from Lauxius. With that said, um, we were expecting Roy to be very good this week. Um, seeing a little bit of his kit beforehand, we we're just like, oh. I mean, this is this is going to be kind of nutty, but hopefully it works the way we think, and we've already gotten a better understanding of alchemy. So, depending on what his SCT costs or his MP costs for his S three and all of his skills, and if anything's like an awesome skill to use, it, he could be really, really good. Well, what we didn't know is that they were going to give him literally a perfect kit for damage. Um, and we can get into that when we talk about him specifically, but mm-hmm. the fact that now after Red or after Ed in the first part, uh, we have Roy coming in, and I would say he does. While he doesn't do the lousiest DPS burst, he really does not. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't. He doesn't make it because they're both cast cancelable. So nix that. Uh, this damage cap and their skill in the skill count or the skill hits. Um, lousiest still does win, and he's de- overall I think an incredible unit. Um, Roy's right there though, which say, is crazy for me to say. Yeah. After seeing Ed and see how good he is, and comparable to Shift a little bit, right? That's yeah. what I would say. He's a little bit ahead of Shift a little bit. Mm-hmm. But what Roy? There's a huge gap in between. There was a huge gap between Ed and Lamsius. Right. Yeah, I would. Now say- there's a there's a much bigger gap between Ed and Roy versus Roy and Lamsius for sure. Right. I, I the way I see it in my head is if you look at like very common layouts for unit tier lists that we see. You know how they have the S tier, they have the A tier, the B tier. Roy and Laugzeus are sitting at the top. Um, um, if there was, if everyone like on Ultima's like S tier is max, 
those two would be triple S tiers. That's what I'm saying. They're Easily. in their own category as yes. far as DPS potential, where there is yes. a slight difference. You know, where Laugxeus, I think, wins in a couple more categories, like you were saying. Yes. Roy also has his categories. He's more dominant than Lugin. I would agree. Right. So that's kind of how I, think, I would. That's how I, I would explain he, it. I think he, he as a unit, because of his alchemy spamming, because he has the ability to get MP back whenever he wants, and essentially use that for skill stocks. Um, he's like, well, Crypt. I think Crypt would agree. We were playing last night, and we were doing multiplayer. And he's just like one of those units that's just like a no-brainer. You you can just press one button the entire time. <laughs> he's a well-oiled killing machine, <laughs> right? Like all you have to do is keep pressing his S three, maybe press attack every once in a while to get some MP back, and then keep pressing S three. That's it. It's it's the, a no-brainer. And he makes while that is kind of blunt, like you know numb to the m mind, it's so easy to do and makes the grind that much easier because you don't have to think. Um, we were having a lot of fun last night, though, killing the ant boss and just uh, having two Roy's and just obliterating everything. Even <laughs> so, oh, I bet it was Even wild. Today, doing uh, doing dragon runs with him, you know, oh. you you lose the ability to like, you got to use Trish, so you lose half of your real big goddess kiss procs. Uh, so all you got to do is stack like a thousand MP on him, which right now my Roy has nine hundred and thirty one MP with the arc he's got equipped with an actual um, power build, right? Like not with not with a meme build to get the max MP. Like, that's an yeah, actual no, realistic build. No, no, this is, this is a build I would run. <laughs> this yeah. is a build I would run. Anyway, um, it's really not hard to get him all that that extra MP. It really doesn't cost that much, especially with being a five-starable unit. You know, we've got that extra 10 SC to work with. Um, man, that feels good. And, and then being a collaboration unit, you get another six for free. And then being, you know, the person that I am, I got two of the, the prisms that were in the shop. Um, so having like, you know, essentially 20 extra SC uh, to work with just feels so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would agree. Um, and you know what? Yours is only what? Level 102, I think? 106. It was 106, 102 yesterday. You'll, you'll, <laughs> get, you'll, get, you'll get more MP every level. So like you'll get a couple, a little bit more, um, yes. which is pretty crazy. 1000 MP Roy incoming. <laughs> I mean, yeah, someone already did a screenshot in or like of the JP, some JP dude got like 1100 MP. How many, oh how many, <laughs> but like, S, again, S3 pops he, is that? Um, His cost 114. <laughs> so it's more than Ed's. I mean, it's, it's yeah. definitely more than Ed's, but that was the guy flexing the MP wasn't even using a legit, well, a realistic build. Gotcha. Um, Crips, if he has a 930, that's going to be eight stocks. Of that's it, just fine. Like reasonably, <laughs> yeah. Which is which is fine. very good. Um, plus, oh plus any God. that he gets from killing something while he's doing it. Uh, right. Plus whatever stock back. naturally regenerate over the course of having to cast it eight times. Yes. Um, which yeah, you can't. No, it, I mean, we can wild. get into it, but you you can't can cast cancel, which is <laughs> pretty wild. Pretty wild. Yeah, Twix was um, yelling at me while we were farming about not cast canceling. It's like, you want me to actually play the game? Yes, like, this isn't an idle it, game? I don't understand. You're not. <laughs> this doesn't make any yes, sense to me. I'm sitting there cast canceling with my lousies and I see Roy S3. <laughs> Pew! S3. Pew! I'm just like, dude, you could be on S3, 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 S3. Just, like, just rip it. <laughs> right. Because, well, you can say what you, when we were using our Roy's last night and I was cast canceling and you were not. It was like two and two to two and a half times as effective to cast cancel. Disgusting. As, as opposed to just like <laughs> sitting there and hitting S3 as as quickly as I could. Yeah, um, once you once you feel what cast canceling oh. does, it's 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 so hard to like want to uh -huh. not do it. And you know what? I think it's got a nice rhythm when, to it. I think when we talk about how him, um, I think we'll get into that a little bit because that is one of the biggest reasons of why he's so good. Yeah, all of his, uh, all of his, one, two, and three persist for two, right? Um, or I'm no? not sure about one. I haven't tested one, but two for sure. I have not tested one at all to cast cancel it. I just don't. I just haven't felt the need to do so. And three, um, once it's out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His once three, his three goes off, I mean, both him and Ed are the same to me in that. Well, no, I mean Roy's S two. You were showing me at least, yeah, in some areas, but his S three is his bread and butter. That's yes, his S three is his most like, powerful uh, spell. Yeah. Is like a DB Ray power yes. level S two, which is like insane. Big yeah. big fan of that. Yes, just ev the, everyone I, around him in in a reasonable sized area 
big damage. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's very useful, especially for the. I mean, we don't have to talk about arena, but them Rutos are very annoying with with targeting. So, yes, it's it's usable without it, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Every, everyone should have a skill like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> just to avoid of, the stupid Rutos. A lot of units do, and for a long time, it was like a trend where the S2 was just that. It was just an AoE based around the unit, you know, like Rim, DB Ray, Milum had that same thing. So mm -hmm. it was it was kind of a it was kind of a and trend we, for a minute. Right, and, and we, we all didn't hated it. Yep. <laughs> this is stupid, yep, I hate this. Because when we used it, it wouldn't target anyone and you could just waste it, right? Mm -hmm. This is stupid um, and I hate this. Pretty pretty wild that it's come full circle to us like appreciating those and like right. that that being like a meta thing. Right. To to look for in kits. Um, I mean, that's the thing about this game is that old stuff often circles back around into being very useful mm -hmm. based on what they add. You know, it's like I've said this before, but it's like Magic the Gathering. There's so many effects. There's so many like cards in essence to mix with each other yep. that there's no way they can possibly consider every single yes. interaction before they put out new stuff. Yep. So we get like crazy, wacky, broken stuff yep. from the past that's great. <laughs> becoming extremely relevant. I love it. I love that. Yeah, it's cool. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. Okay. So I mean, we're 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 stroking this man off enough. Uh, well, least, easy. At least easy from just an explanation standpoint. But um, where do you want to go? Do you want to go deep dive into his I mean, kit, or do you want to start dive a little just bit. showing what he does? Um. Well, let me just explain his skills real quick, because I mean, okay. people don't. I guess people that don't have him or like don't really know what they're about. Um, sure. So his, his S1's, I mean, kind of a low hit, but it's a little bit of a long anima animation. you got to be line of sight for the first, sh first shot. Um, I mean, it's not really a, a damage-based. It's more like a control-based skill. And it does hit pretty hard because it's all fire damage, um, and he has ridiculous fire damage. <laughs> but it's not really like the, the bread and butter of his kit um, for damage. S2 is the one we were talking about before, being non-line of sight, just centered around the unit. He can just use it on his on his body whenever he wants um which is pretty dope um an okay hit count but not, nothing to write home about but his s3 that you shut up um <laughs> is literally it's non line of sight mm -hmm. it's uh you can shoot it all the way across the map um it's almost instantly activated or it's instantly activated so you can cast cancel it it is has a, an incredible hit count with 13 or 26 on dual wield um and being long range and all that kind of stuff, you can really manipulate the damage of it. So like, his S three is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, one of easily one of the best skills in the game. Um, it has such a wide AOE that um, if you cast it on an enemy in the center of the map, it will hit all four corners of the map. Hmm. Um, we were testing. <laughs> Crypt and I were doing. Um, the green gate yesterday and we were bringing or like you know running into the center of the map right because that, that the boss Pablo will come chase after you running to the center of the map and the clones in the bottom left bottom right in the top left corner don't move well if you bring him to the center of the map if you shoot the s3 at the boss um the resonating aoe will hit all f the all three of the other pablos god on that skill cast which, I mean, I don't need to tell you, it's, uh, that's pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't have that to test here, obviously, but <laughs> it's really the, funny to watch. The only negative thing that I can think of about his S3 is that it can miss, which mm. very occasionally like creates a really funny moment. Uh, I was farming magic books, yeah. and I took a <laughs> shot at, like, I don't know, Lily in the back or something, and mm -hmm. someone killed her before it got there. And it just shot off into the background, yeah. like right. way, way up. And it didn't stop being on the screen until it exited the top of the screen. That's <laughs> There's yeah, just no collision at all for it. It is um, really, really funny. And it's so fast. So it just hugs um, the it hugs the side of the screen. It just it like uh, no, it just, just started... it just continues in a tra trajectory and just continues going. Oh, gotcha. Like until, it, it, like, it it'll leave the, the screen. screen and disappears. Yeah, yeah, got it. Um, but like you know, in in arena, occasionally, if you aim at like Nero and he does his S three, he'll jump over it or something like that. But you know, there's just moments where it just is a total whiff and it's just gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, other but than that, it's not basically have... a perfect skill. 
Yeah, it's so quick that it does not happen a lot, which is gotcha. incredible. And I mean, just uh, know your target, right? Like, don't aim at something that's going to be moving. Aim at something that's stationary, because if it hits the stationary thing, it's going to hit everything else anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. And you also don't need to worry about it um, hitting something in the way. It always, like, let's say you're aiming for an enemy in the back, and you're aiming through the people um, in front of them. them. It won't stop on it. it. It'll go straight through them. Yeah, that's just... Um, which is very important. Piercing, kind of. That's what I'm trying to say. Kidding. Piercing. Piercing, but doesn't it? It just doesn't get stopped. Um, yeah, that's his alt. His alt's pretty cool. I saw that in. I saw that in. Uh, I, oh, I did, did it in my video of, mm -hmm. with Pablo. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really not many times I'm going to use it. You haven't. It watched is AOE. The anime, right? It's cool. Um, have I have not watched the anime? I've was I watched a bit of it. I started it. Mm. Yeah, it's from a particular scene that's like makes it even cooler if you've watched it. Oh, well, I see. I probably haven't gotten there yet. No. So he's he's one of those units that you're actually like rewarded for holding on to his ult in the yep. form of like he's got reinforced built in. So just having a full ult gives you that like nice juicy. What is it? Thirty percent. Yeah. Thirty. Uh, it's thirty percent in buff and it's separate. Yeah. So it's like it's oh, that's a strong boost. <clears throat> Super um, tasty. Yeah. Actually, now that you brought that up, I wanted to ask because yes. in the chat in the main Discord, someone was asking, you know, do I build his int do i build his strength and, Ooh, you know this is a good question yes because the obvious answer would be like stack the hell out of his int but you yes. were kind of like you can do either or which surprised um, me that was kind of funny because right like i use i'm not stacking well, let's see what i have on him right now i'm not stacking int like i'm not trying to stack intelligence mm -hmm. um of course i have my godly kagatsuchi but um, nice. you can build him either way. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I have built him intelligence because you can take advantage of his save SC on auto aura. You can save SC on reinforce. Um, you can add phase change to improve his phase change a ton to improve his regulars. Um, what else is there? Moonlight does a great job of improving his damage. I mean, and he is thaumaturgy during innate. So like, why wouldn't you can easily stack his intelligence but i think in a strength build as well he's gonna hit very very hard you can put mm -hmm. fast brave on him as well as all the intelligence stuff adding into his strength as well um fast brave brave or sorry he gets fast brave off the rip regardless with 25 percent instead of 20 which is incredible for his platoon commander um as well as being or as well as having um god damn it I don't remember. I don't remember where I was going with that, but pride is is very good, um, and he's just a force to be reckoned with, whether you build in a strength or intelligence. And in likelihood, you're going to build both. But if you mm. can focus on intelligence, because those are where his big innate boosts come from, and that's where he's going to save the most SC in order to be super super powerful. I saw you were equipping Skyfire staff, so he must be a mage, oh. right? Right, exactly. <laughs> um, I actually had. You know what? It's, what's funny about that is I had in my video, um, and I saw a bunch of comments on Facebook and some some on Reddit about asking why the heck I was using this, because, um, but one of the biggest things about these alchemy units is that you want MP. MP. This is great for MP. First of all, it has a fire attack and regular attack, mm -hmm. um, which is great in his kit and very useful for a goddess kiss procs. Um, depending enemy resist, obviously. Obviously, I would change that if fire is super super resistant um i'm building his int anyways so it's gonna be 191 to his intelligence which is great um and this is one of his better equips just just because of that shout out and you to, obviously uh, don't have oh go ahead no you're good you're saying obviously you don't have what oh you're good to shout out whoever you would like oh, i was gonna shout out bluff of a gun for ed as a machine oh, type weapon. Yeah. um unfortunately that is limited right because it's correct going to be a um, yes dark weapon burn. but yes the, the the 50 mp is absolutely solid on it right here nope i already yeah, i have an alina too because obviously mp is mp is god on her as well um yeah just a shout out yeah, to the, weapons with mp oh heck yeah <laughs> um that's one of that's one of the better ones too yeah, and remember when meteor, that came out? We were like, eh, what is this for?" <laughs> Once again, no. But that was the thing. We the were past. like, we were like, "There's like no weapons that aren't a staff that have that kind of NP on them." Mm. And we were like, "This is gonna, this is gonna be useful at some point." 
<laughs> um, be useful sometime. So, I mean, you've gone over. I don't know, did you go over Roy's kit at all? Whenever you're doing the, I mean, I did over, the, over the initial. Again? Yeah, no, let's go over. I it mean, since. tray tray wise, all of his traits are phenomenal. Um, you obviously want to prefer preference the um, alchemy skills whenever you're trying to. So you do want to get rid of those skill stocks. You want that twenty percent damage. You want that damage cap. Um, just having a straight up fire attack damage plus forty percent in his kit on Flame Alchemist is kind of disgusting. <laughs> a flat four thousand fire damage cap is. I mean, that's kind of normal these days. All the PDBS units are getting a straight up cap increase with no conditions, unlike Chef Goroth. Um, <clears throat> then his second trait, Hero Vishval, is awesome. Uh, the more enemies, he, the more damage he gets. He gets, but especially in places you're using him, like multiplayer mm-hmm. and grinding there, and that's pretty much the end game content we have right now. It's going to be very, very good for his physical damage cap increase. Um, he most likely you're going to get an S3 off and kill everything before other people have a chance. So, yes, you're going to be able to make full use of that um, physical damage cap increase, um, as well as getting the 36% for waves of 6 or 30% for waves of 5 that happen very, very often in multiplayer. Um, As to his kit, uh, I mean, not talking about like what I've put on him, but like his innate stuff, it's, it's for short price skill cost, his innate stuff, he's they want you to build him intelligence, which makes a lot of sense because he gets so many, so much um, damage from it. He really, really does. He, you don't need full. You do not need flag for him. I would actually prefer to not have it on him. Really, when you can. Um, naturally, I use Godblade because it's just an incredible weapon. It boosts crit rate by five percent as well as twenty five percent skill damage yeah. or fire attack physical damage. Right? I think that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Fire, yeah, fire yeah. physical attack damage. Um, so, is it a replacement for flag? Yes, but it also is fire attribute, which helps with his need for goddess kiss procs. Mm. Um, and we'll go over goddess kiss whenever we get there, because that's that's probably <laughs> one of the main things in this kit that makes him so, so good. Um, and he gets it for free. So, magic of arcane ups, great. Illusion, whatever. Don't care. It's going to be useful, but like, all right, um, human sl- him having human slayer um, cannon is heck, but that is <laughs> pretty wild that they gave this to him um, by virtue of him being so high damage. Yeah. Um, because the other human slayer that we have is that's ridiculous is little Alexeus. Let's uh, just say there's lower reasons. <laughs> yeah, there's lower reasons that. exactly. It's it's incredible, and it's and it's probably one of the best slayers. Very in the true game. to lore. <laughs> Very one of the best slayers in the game, regardless. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they gave that him, him that innate, which is just, just disgusting. Auto aura, fantastic. Wisdom protection, don't really care, honestly. Um, auto regen, sure. Auto haste, kind of standard at this point, but like, love to see it, and love to have it on units. Like Lausius doesn't have it, which I wish he had, but you know, doesn't which really matter. One? Wisdom's protection. Um, Wisdom's protection is the new one from the mm-hmm, mindful. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, yep, yep. And it's just like okay, whatever. Which one were you saying you wish Loud had? Uh, auto haste, or just like oh, auto haste. haste, right, right. Which is fine, whatever. It's it's fourteen free SC. Awaken another nine SC. Um, fire mega drive is just disgusting. <laughs> it is. It's essentially fire high drive, but plus two thousand cap, which yep. is incredible. And you can stack fire high drive with it, which. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that would be good? Um, fire attack damage, fire attack raise two, great weak weak point boost, fantastic because he gets that extra mm-hmm. um, passive. We'll see him soon to a weak damage. Uh, Pose of Glory is innate. Ail of Honor. Goddess Kiss. Now, Goddess Kiss. We were talking before about, or I was talking before, is why I'm using these equips. Um, the reason I'm using those equips on Fire Weak or, you know, neutral ish enemies is because his regular attacks are boosted by all this fire damage raises, as well as this, uh, they, they gain, they have a 10% chance to gain back 2% of the damage's MP. So, like, let's say you regular attack damage for 10,000. That means you have the ability to get 200 MP back in one hit on a regular attack. One out of 10 times. One out of 10. Which, I mean, it's one, it's per hit, right? It's not per use. It's per hit. Right. So, if you dual wield him, um, in his, in his uh, regular is either three, two, three, or four hits. I don't remember. I think it's three. We can check that in a bit. Three. So, three. Six, six, six hits. Yeah. Sorcerers are like, you know, V's. V and 
um, Rabala and Zekas have all had three hit normal attacks. So I would assume it's also three. Um, but that's six hits and a 10% chance on each hit to gain back 2% of that damage as MP. Which gets kind of nutty, um, and which we'll, we'll, we'll talk about. We'll <laughs> um, and I don't know if people things. have seen my videos, or like, the, especially the public video that I put out when I... I mean, I didn't really optimize for regular attack damage in that, but... You have to pay attention. Yeah, seeing... We were we were fighting uh, Pablo yesterday in the Green Gate, and Crypt and I were. I took these like little videos, and I had a consistently. He was capping with um, these two weapons on him consistently with the build that I had with like Plant Slayer and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Twenty four thousand damage hit or cap hits <laughs> on his regulars, <laughs> on his regular. which, mind you, that correlates to every time Goddess hit Goddess uh, Kiss procs, four hundred and eighty MP. Yeah, it's, and multiple it, times he would get like three of them in one regular attack burst. So I, that's 1,400, 1, 1.4 thousand mm. MP. Like unnecessary because he only had 800. But like he went from zero to 800 within one regular attack. <laughs> yeah. And then you can con continue to use science or alchemy skills. Like right. the, the synergy between him and getting his MP back um, and how strong his regular attack is Pending his build, obviously. It's not going to just out of the box be that good. It's part um, of why he's sitting on Laugzeus tier. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, Thaumaturgy ring, fantastic. Obviously, I talked about, talked about that before, but raising your intelligence increases um, the damage calcs. So it like, essentially adds 20% of your intelligence to the calculation of your skill damage with its strength, as well as most of his skills skill with intelligence as well so like it's just a pure bonus to his skills um, compounded uh, yep. intelligence scaling yep it's crazy uh, piercing is we've seen that before quick trigger is kind of ridiculous that they gave him this for free mm -hmm. which uh, it's really funny because that was going to be revenge aura which would have been completely and totally useless for useless him. <laughs> and instead, um, quick trigger Go quick figure. trigger because his SCT is so ridiculously long um, in which case, I actually don't have the numbers for his SCT. I don't really care about his numbers for the SCT of his skills because all I do is use alchemy in the first place. Yeah, it's like right. I would honestly kind of prefer him to have zero SCT. Obviously, once in a while you're going to want to use it, but yeah, it's 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 just to call it out because a couple of my people in the Discord were also trying. You know, they're brainstorming, and these are counterintuitive characters, right? We've yes, we've been so conditioned to like. How do you get skill stock? What are the good skills to charge it up? You don't want skill stocks on these guys. They literally become worse by having skill stocks. So the goal you know, is to just charge up that MP first. Make sure you're maximizing your MP charge. And then, you know, if, if you're talking spam ability, then we can start looking at, you know, having a couple extra stocks. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the funny thing. Like, obviously he's going to, Regen SCT at any given time. Well, alchemy skills are there for his main damage, but whenever you do, do get a stock of other stuff, sure, right, sure, use it. It's gonna be it's just damage it's compounded extra. damage sure. on top. Um, it's great. Um, having sharp eyes innate. Um, I actually have that off most of the time to make his alchemy because all right. So if you have a pool of nine hundred MP, let's say, and you are capping without sharp eyes. Um, with for 114 MP per alchemy skill, why would you put on sharp eyes at all? Um, I, I don't see a reason to. I didn't think there's no was, reason to. I didn't think he was going to need it when I watched the reveal video. Exactly. Um, so this is in, in places where you want big damage and don't have a lot of MP to regen, and regular attacks won't be doing much damage. Um, cough. <clears throat> Arena. <laughs> sharp eyes is a go-to right you, you're going to money wanting to use that you want to use that like small sct or small mp to to use it um but getting that for free is fantastic it, he has so much sct sc he saves really it's, it's unbelievable he really um does. reinforce for free for five sc is incredible this is one of the best and i've used this on my v videos i've used this on pretty much any intelligence based dps that's going to have a special and that um, um that's like Moonlight, right? Oh. It stacks on top of aura. Yeah. So right. the the auras, the moonlights, 
and then like the alt the full alt skills like power counter and reinforce for the strength and intelligence um they do stack mm -hmm. i mean they're not like compound on top of, they're not like multiplicative but they no. are ad additive to the original intelligence mm -hmm. so like yes it, it stacks it, it doesn't replace or nullify any of the other um intelligence stacks which is obviously great like you're gonna want to want more more stats mm -hmm. um and that's like that's just free real estate that they give you <laughs> It's free real estate. <laughs> um, alchemy is, well, I mean, we've seen that before. State Alchemist is minus 20% <clears throat> cost, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Very, very useful. Um, Flames of Revenge is essentially a mini weak high point boost. Um, and yep. even better if one of your allies is dead. <laughs> Surprise. Or is that useful? Oh, I wonder. Um, <laughs> don't give up on living. This is great, too. It's almost like a, a free indomitable spirit for uh, one of your boys. It's one of the homies. It's like the tier below Ed's version, right? It's literally yeah. the same thing. Yeah, like, it's not great, but it's something that it's like a, a so, free from mm -hmm, zero for mm -hmm. them without like, you know, the defensive boost and all that kind of I mean, stuff. But it'll in save them once. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely useful in multiplayer. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's kinda like a, a light version of uh like Kyle's thing. You know, it saves one person from dying. <laughs> mm -hmm. But Kyle has it twice and it's in the form of a barrier. But mm -hmm. right. Same um this is pretty dope podcast cover and now we've blake has the data mine on this i believe it's or it says skill special of a low chance to deal very powerful fire extra attack slash ultra low to insta kill enemies um i believe the low is referring to a five percent chance for a 200 percent fire attack which obviously <laughs> if you're capping already it's just going to do 100 damage it's not going to do more but oh, wow. for attacks that are not capping it will do 200 percent that and it's, now, where are we going to have attacks that aren't capping? Hmm. Per well, hit? to um, yes, <laughs> we're going to have current. some attacks that aren't capping. Some attacks that aren't mm -hmm. capping. Um, I wonder. I wonder where that would be useful. Um, and then the ultra low chance to insta kill enemies is 05 percent on every skill hit. <laughs> Which I mean, really, is just like cake. Like, I mean, it's, bonus. it's essentially negligible. He's, he should kill most things, but for places that. For newer Roy's who don't have everything, um, it's pretty useful for like those god god mode stages and all that kind of stuff. Um, tower especially for non boss waves. Um, Platoon commander does not stack with fast brave and aura, okay. but it is plus twenty five percent instead of twenty percent, which is kind of nice. So it essentially gives a you know medium aura to mm -hmm. medium uh, brave and aura to the old team. So if you need if you're if you're running fast brave and fast aura, you don't really need to. Right. Which is nice. It's it's kind of the similar thing to Shift Medine's exactly. buff. She gives everyone a Grand Brave off the rip. Yep. It's just nice to have. Um, and now I'm going to talk about how I build him. The, my my, <laughs> prior, my priorities for Roy, right? So we've talked about what people need to understand about alchemy skills are, especially in PvE. Um, what they've done, what, what Adis, Adis has done is what you have talked about before, Buddha, mm. about it, them being counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, you want to use your MP pool as a skill stocks, right? Mm -hmm. So your allotted MP is going to be the amount of skills you can use within a given time. And being able to regen that super well is going to be, you know, the difference between whether your Roy is going to do a lot of damage consistently or he's going to run out and then, and then fizzle out as soon as he uses all of the skills. So that's why your main priority in his kit is going to be your MP pull. Um, without sharp eyes, his S3, which I actually don't know the, the cost of everything else, his S3 with the alchemy skill with the uh, state alchemist minus 20% um, is going to be 114 MP per use. So you're going to want to find a good middle ground between adding a bunch of MP and equips and all that kind of stuff to raise your essentially your your max skill stocks of your of your skills which i mean his s3 is the best one so you're gonna want a lot of mp it's like a um, universal skill pool right and uh, you know what these skills don't really matter to be honest um none of these really do um if you want to add them after you get all like the damage multipliers and everything sure go right ahead but like i think we've talked about before with all these new units coming out they have such high stat ceilings or like high, just high stat floors, I guess I could say, mm -hmm. that you don't really need to pump um, SC into 
damn in, into like stats at all right um and even then i haven't even taught him a bunch of the stuff like just because i just don't feel like i need it at all like you can see i have only taught him two of the attack ups and that's from random from teaching him other stuff like i haven't even purposely taught him that mm -hmm. um he gets this free stuff i was using crit ups because i mean whatever proud force is great for any physical dps obviously that's sustain um you're going to be wanting to teach him special boost for all the slayers that you want to equip on him to use in multiplayer but i have kagasuchi and he doesn't equip swords so i taught him sword equip obviously that's important for anybody especially like units people that use lobsius um he doesn't come with any equips so you're going to need to give him learn these from marks um but i mean he's auto or innate i gave him fast crit and fast speed sure this is just going to make him more fun to use pride fast and speed. moonlight yeah pride and moonlight because you know they're free multipliers to their stats which multiply into their skills um so yeah very useful pose of honor is probably one of his biggest things i mean all right, weak point boost i skipped over but that's incredibly powerful um if they're weak to fire <laughs> they're just gonna get annihilated and you're gonna cap very very easily to pretty much all pve content um pose of glory is fantastic but pose of honor is one of his bread and butters that you need to teach him um because you're you're going to want to kill as many enemies as you can to get all his MP back with each skill use. So the 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 thing about Pose of Honor, it does recover five percent after every enemy death that he kills. If you have nine hundred MP, every death is going to be forty five MP. That means if you go in a wave with his ridiculous AOE <laughs> um, on his S three and kill I don't know three enemies or four or five enemies in one or two S threes, you're going to get a lot of that MP back just because you killed them um very very useful for pv incredibly useful for mp because you know poses are bugged right now and you're pretty much guaranteed to roll into the last stage of full mp and full stocks um ale of honor is great to have it in eight um basically plus 10 percent mp um one thing i haven't taught him which i haven't really needed to is the skill archangel's blessing which is from the S archangel's smile arc right. And that's going to be essentially this battle end recovers MP plus 10%, but going to be MP plus 30%. And they do stack. So you can essentially get 40% MP after every wave if yeah. you like it. If you feel like you need it. Um, Goddess Kiss is incredible, but um, Sky High is also ridiculous for. I mean, any maps that can be flinchable, they just have to levitate off the round just a little bit to get that big So damage. notably, his skills do not activate Sky High on their own. Interesting. Um, S1 for sure does, by the way. Right, but I'm saying like, well, S3, I guess, doesn't do it on its own. Yeah. Because I think all of Ed's do. His 1, oh. 2, and 3. <laughs> yeah, Ed's, they do. Ed's S2 shoots people into Dude. space. <laughs> it's very <laughs> it's funny. So funny. It is very Just funny. walk up and like, you know, uppercut way right. up into the sky. Right. Um, One thing... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say it's real fun to like S2 and then bounce people on top of his S3 because you can just like mm -hmm. keep them off the ground pretty much indefinitely as long as you've got, you know, MP or skill stocks in S2 and S3. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. <laughs> That's great. I'm surprised you don't have Maglion on him, but I guess I'm oh, not. Oh, so uh, well, I was just using his hidden multiplayer and I was farming the... I mean, I use a V build as well, like on one of the alts, so like it's... He just get they get stunned and then I can just run behind them and just get plus eighty percent damage for surprise attack and backstab. So it's a little right. bit easier. Um, Maglion's especially useful against the foul mega boss. Right. In which in case I would switch up his build then. Gotcha. Um, that's crazy, crazy good for do, what um, long do range you know attacks. the scale of Maglion? I've actually never confirmed that. Um it essentially the, the entire map is fifty percent damage. Got it. Like so anything eyes, in, anything below that is going to be, mm -hmm. you know, still very good. Even half the map is still twenty five percent damage, which is yeah. nuts. Twenty and I think and I think um, are great. I think uh, Lake probably has it right up on that on the site, but I mm. I have not checked and I have not looked at Maglin in a while, so I could be wrong. Totally off base, but whatever. <laughs> so minimum um, distance is listed as zero. Maximum distance is listed as ten thousand, but nobody actually knows what that means. <laughs> right. <laughs> The numbers are there, maybe, but we have no like scale yeah, what? for that. <laughs> right. Thousand, okay. Um, one thing I do have on him is face change because it adds fifty percent of your intelligence to the calculation of the regular attacks, which make his regular because he's an imp based physical DPS. 
by heart and by whatever boost they have given him, um, he gets a lot of damage out of that from his for his regulars. So that's definitely a big shout is if you're trying to regen that goddess kiss back very, very quickly um, and your, your MP, um, that's, a, that's a really good skill to use on him. And he has, and you're, you're essentially given um, free 86 SC, right? Yep. Or 96 SC. So 96. You have, if you, you, have star, room, yeah. you have room to fit this. Um, and you don't always you need to everything. use it. But Shove you it can all fit. There. It's crazy. And I haven't even taught him a bunch. I just don't feel like touching things because this is like, he just ca he just caps. Yep. Um, Thom ring, piercing we've seen. Dual wield is huge on him. And I've talked about his God of Kiss procs before. And even the overall doubling the hit count damage and he'll, he'll be capping and all that good stuff. Yes, you want dual wield on him in PvE for sure. And even in PvP, if you feel like it, I found enough room where I can use it. <laughs> he has over, he has 96 SC. Like, if you want to use it, great. Um, sword boost and sword eye boost just because I have, you know, I'm running Kagatsuchi, but, like, after that, there's nothing. It's just, like, what what more stuff will be useful? I mean, if you have Demon's Throne, this works on his S3 as well. Mm. If he's a full all gauge, physical damage, long range, plus 3%. Works great for him. Um, Empire of Might works great on multiple enemy maps um very very strong as well for 7sc and i think i was teaching him berserker but i haven't gotten there yet but that's another one that's gonna be great on him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if strength versus in based it doesn't you really can't go wrong honestly no. um i prefer a majority of my stats put into intelligence and then you know using whatever physical strength on top of that to boost physical damage yeah I mean, uh, only, that's why I'm running Kagetsuchi. It just makes sense to me because he's got that Thaumaturgy ring. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you can do that phase change to get those Goddess Kiss <laughs> procs on your normal attack and yep. yada, yada, yada. So, it all right. Do. Yep. So, dude is just, he's so stacked. Like, So there's 45 minutes on Roy. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, let me just bring him in here real quick because I actually yep. haven't done this at all. Let's actually uh, show him. Because... Let's human slayer. What are you gonna? Shorts. Are you gonna? Are we gonna do? I was gonna say, how do we want to do some a little bit of showcasing? Do we should we start with IGC three or no? You're in fine Tyria. That's fine. Too. Um, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Just I want to see his three. I actually haven't done this at all. I've just been enjoying him in multiplayer mm -hmm. and in arena and all that kind of stuff. So like, I can. This host is. A, um, I can host a dragon later so that we can show the difference okay. between skill canceling and no skill canceling. If you'd like to. Perfect. I just figured that'll be an easy way to do it. Dragon's a really easy target. He doesn't move. <laughs> he stands still. Yeah. That's... Yeah. yeah he what is. the? F <laughs> this and that's, that's that's cast okay. canceling for your skills. Right. Um, and I think fun. and that zero put out a. I'll give him a shout he out. He did. put out a video on it. He oh. did. He beat me to um, it. After I went into his stream one day and was like, "You better practice this." <laughs> and ah. then he was like. All right, I'm getting better at it. And I was like, oh, sick. And then he was like, posted a video a couple days later, which is great. Yeah, um, it was a very good video. Was that four seconds? That was three. Wow. That was three? That was a three second clear, yes. Wow. All right, well, that just means I have to. So I, I went in. Can... You, you guys know I don't go in for Finding Theory of God. It's not my thing, whatever. I was like, all right, let's just test, you know, let's see how ridiculous he is here. Hold on, hold so on a in, and I got like the most casual six second clear ever and that was that was like the fastest you know i've ever completed that stage or anything and that was actually just going in and being like i wonder how much damage mm -hmm. his s3 does and how many times mm -hmm. i can cast it that's uh, pretty well give him and um, that was wipe, the, wipe them out give him scarlet blade mm -hmm. i'm looking for it ah. <laughs> don't worry don't worry we're on it All right. um so cap 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 <laughs> I don't really need this. I don't think at well, all. Well, are they? Can they be lowered to minus fire? Yeah. Weak to fire. That's why I'm bringing Rabala. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna. Sure. This is these are the homies. So. And guess what? You don't need honey, honey elixir. You don't need Winry's apple pie. You can just literally just. Yeah. Bam. That's I should also... probably bring. To be honest, I should probably bring icy guardian, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's record time. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Actually, they're dead. And we're done. <laughs> but once you get that, like, 
once you start figuring out how to cast cancel, that's how fast you can do it. Yeah, like it I just fired like every every hacking. time I went to the every time I went to the magic menu, that was a um a skill use. And yep. you can you can do it in multiplayer, it's just much, much harder because there's no like <laughs> you have pause. to be so precise. And there's well there's a little lag, but there is I mean, this is why I put on him this is part of his integral part of his kit is using a one magic spell that's um time stop. Because he doesn't have or not time stop, right? Like just has has a relatively long cast time. And Blizzard mm -hmm. doesn't that long, but it's one of the cheaper spells that has a cast time right. that long. Um, for other units, you can use their charismas to cast cancel. It's fine. I just use this because I don't want him actually going. Th it's long enough where I don't actually want him going through the motion, but you know, it's it's easily cancelable. Yep. I've been using uh, Wind Circle just because it's like fire res down. And so yeah, having yeah. it is both good utility and it lets you cast cancel, but it is like six instead of four. So there's definitely right. like a little trade off there. Yep. Um, oh. But with that and his S3, you can just like slap minus 40 fire res mm -hmm. on people. And then yeah. you can still have like, uh, what, Gaze of the End. You can still have mm -hmm. like Weak or Giga Weak or Rabala go off. So pretty, pretty accessible mm -hmm. minus 60 fire res. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. Oh, um, Pluto, do you want me to do what I was doing before? Before we showed up? Um, do, or no? Yeah. It takes like 20 seconds. Yeah. It takes like 20 seconds. Yeah. Why don't we just For do it? For sure. Let's do a little world, uh, world boss showcase. Sure. Just a little world boss showcase. Let's do that. Yeah. So I need to switch his. Yeah. While plane. you're switching him out. Um, I mentioned it in my Ed video, but Tweaks is going to take on Lambda, right? High speed mode, one of the mm -hmm. one of the earlier world bosses in the game. But um, That's what I to do. here's the thing about Lambda is that when he hits you, he drains your MP. And mm -hmm. I actually, <laughs> before in my Ed showcase, I went and fought Zlord. But before I did that, I forgot to record myself fighting Lambda. And that's when I discovered, oh, this is like the worst, <laughs> this is the worst world boss to try and show this unit off without having a strategy to uh, yep. avoid this gimmick. And um, I was like, of course, like, you know, I'm trying to get away from Pablo. I randomly picked a world boss. I picked the one that's like <laughs> draining my MP. And uh, so that's kind of, I think what Tweaks is going to show here is that yeah. how can Roy fare against a fight that is you know especially effective against these guys because they want <laughs> all that mp right and, um, um yeah i'm trying to think maybe i should use shoot 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 i think i will i want to use medine right because she gives me a 2k cap but yeah this is fine for four, this is yeah. fine yeah. um yeah. essentially um yeah. so here's what's gonna happen <laughs> what, what which i explained in your in the alphonse video as well mm -hmm. for me and we went over alphonse and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. Um, using a taunt build or like a, an allure build, right? So I have a full allure build on M3 right now. I have look at look at this crap I have on her. What? <laughs> like no point, meat right? Hammer. But, right. <laughs> but it gives me plus three stacks to allure, as well as having allure on her. Um, it makes hilarious. Lambda target her more often than anybody else. Right. Okay. So what what does that help for me? It makes Lambda face a particular way, which. In this case, I wanted to keep him face forward. So what I'm going to do with Roy is I'm going to get his um, because I, you know, because I do have this, I'm going to use it. Um, mm -hmm. I have Great War Ruin level 10 arc skill. Uh, so it's going to give full alts to all of my units. Um, so which Roy's is dope. Roy's going to get all his uh, buffs. So what I'm going to do, uh, which Roy is very, very good at when enemies are negative resist. So we can get extremely bad chemical again for minus 35 as well as wind circle for minus 20. Um, so that's where we're going to drop into minus five and then Roy's gonna just going to do just bonkers mm -hmm. damage and not need your Shola at all. Which people are like, oh, well, we need your Shola. You really <laughs> don't if you have the right units. Mm -hmm. um, which again, strategy. very, very limited, but still. Right. You can you can use it to your advantage. Um, so I'm going to do wind circle and then do this. I'm going to run behind. Oh, bye. See you later. See, I don't, I don't get hit by that first shot. Mm -hmm. But you see what's happening here. He's minus five. Um, I have 757 MP, which is less than normal. I think I might have changed. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. 
Um, but I'm going to start cast canceling with this, and you're going to see him just get absolutely nuked. And I hope I don't screw it up. He's no scrub in the HP pool department. No, he has like 12 million eighth points. Right. Or something that's crazy. A, that's a lot. Um, Here we go. Actually, no, I'm going to use this first just to up my damage a little bit um, on my regular attacks when I ever hit him. <laughs> this the is forest okay. fire begins. This is okay. So regen MP, regen MP. There we go. Now we're back up to 655. Oh my <laughs> Lanta. <laughs> what? Cancel. So I use the last one, but I want to cancel out animation still so I can regular attack. So we're going to do that. Regular attack. Boom, boom. More MP, more MP. So some of these like lower MPs are part of, partly because I have Scarlet Blade on another, not another fire weapon. Uh, um, but we're gonna, just going to deal with it. Because your neutral hits are not getting boosted by all of his innate stuff. So they're much, right. much lower. They don't play on right. any your like elemental resists or anything like that. So mm -hmm. really, to see those like massive, massive double MP procs, you do have to be running two fire weapons. Yeah. Uh, but I'm... Mm, oh, shoot, I got caught right here, I think. What, he hit yeah, you? Yeah, I got caught. Oh! No, he, got the whole, he, he got the whole stupid thing he off. Got which his, I, that was, that, that was my explosion. fault, off, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that didn't happen last time, but that's okay, because we have these two, yeah. and we have these two, and then we have this, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, hey, get, <laughs> game is. over. <laughs> Fight's done. Fight's now everybody's done. gonna die. In, so it's uh, just gonna, so I don't need to watch this whole thing, but yeah, that's the end <laughs> of it. Um, wow. But that's essentially how you can use Allure and all that stuff, and then create huge, huge damage for your friends. Because he never, like, like you probably noticed, or maybe you didn't notice, he never turned around once to look at Roy. Yep. Ever. It's focused on Tyria. Focused on Tyria. And that's the goal. That's the entire uh, goal of creating a, an Allure unit like Alphonse or even using Terry to do so just like as a bait unit, right? Yeah. And it's very fun to do. Backstab and surprise attack are huge bonus damage. Go figure. Huge, huge. The, some of the biggest in the game, especially for a physical attacker like Roy. Absolutely. Plus 80% free real estate for, for both, again, SC. for both his for, yeah. SC, for both his physical attack fire damage skills as well as his regular attacks. Yeah, just to put it's that pretty amazing. in perspective, I yep. mean, that special boost plus your Slayer is 100% and I, for and 15. And you know what's funny about that? 14. I wasn't even using any Slayer or special boost that entire right, one. Right. That was well, all pretty much if you make pure Roy. If you make the enemy weak to fire, you don't need any of those things. You don't need right, sharp those, eyes. You don't need Slayer boosts. But they do help with your regular attack. And but they help MP with your regular attack. You're right, you're right. Yep, because yep, yep, sure. those won't be capping very often unless they are like super super damaging yes yes that um, was actually but that's oh that's pretty disgusting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that was something i noticed in my edge showcase was during that lord fight is my <laughs> my mp regen from goddess kiss was despicable right. so with these guys like you're saying even if you're capping think about your skills yeah, capping with your skills. Think about now. It's like <laughs> now we've gone from how do we how do we cap damage? Uh, okay, crit caps are easy enough. Now how do we cap with our whites? Okay, that's easy enough. And then we have these units where it's like, <laughs> how do we get our normal you're, attack damage up? You're not wrong. Um, and the answer is we like, use stuff that we didn't like before, like right. phase change. Right? Like, yeah, I hate right. it. Yes. Nope. Or like Incredible. put the element, the, the, the weapon elemental that's relevant to them. Like that before is like a no-no. It was always go neutral. Neutral weapons yep. are the shiz. I mean, even still, um, you, if they have high resist, yes, you're going to want to go neutral. Right. Um, I will say because that's just, you, you, if they're 100 resist, you're just going to do zero damage with your regulars. So you have to put something that's going to be useful. Yes. Um, even then saying then, if they do have a weak element, put a, put a, a weapon with that type. Mm -hmm. Like, if Roy was not fire and we were fighting, and this was like the same kid and whatever, and we wanted to go fight Pablo, we'd either use earth or fire element weapons right. to regen MP. Yeah. Um, for enemies like, oh, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm not thinking of anything. Um, it really comes down to like, know the fight and be willing to be flexible on mm -hmm. it. Like, you're not going to find a single build that's perfect for everything. You're going to yeah. be in that skill panel switching shit up more often than not. If you're like you using should, one you unit should. for multiple things, right? You, you should, should be. Yeah. That's another layer. Like what? Like I've told a couple people. That's the next layer of leveling up yourself in this game. Is when you start understanding when you have those pre-programmed builds, and you start knowing the fights. You know what to switch, and you start doing that frequently. You've like leveled up in this game with your yes. efficiency and and how you play. Um, but. 
going back to the elemental on the weapon yet while you're what you're saying you know it's not optimal in every single fight and there are still many situations where a neutral weapon is going to be more optimal this has now created a new emphasis on like looking for the weakness and saying oh this guy is weak to fire i can put a fire Mm -hmm. you know weapon on roy and now Mm -hmm. i'm (laughs) <laughs> regenerating yep. 400 MP and, and uh, he's and God which, which is great because right. I mean we didn't have so this weapon right here um, the, the, the God Blade Kagasuji yeah sure it was going to be a very good weapon but we didn't really have a unit that's going to be before <laughs> Thursday <laughs> or Wednesday we didn't have a unit that was going to be fully optimized this right we had right well like Dil Mordo and sure. like that's, that's real good yeah, on yeah, shift, shift Kyle <laughs> great um, but he doesn't have like you know the damage potential to like really 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 use it. Not the emphasis consistently, right? But even, not 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 off the rip, right? But I would um, um, if if you can pull it up, that salamander sword for newer I players. I can't. I used it. Oh, it goes into a. It goes into a. It goes into Godblade. Yes, but I would agree. Yes, it does. Oh, um, it's it's, God, it's Kagetsuji right. and the salamander sword. That's right. Combined. So the salamander. But yeah. I would agree. I would agree with you mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. that that is not a bad sword to use as well as I think there's um, let's go sword and fire. There is another sword fire. This one right here, the red queen, if you got red it, it's queen. also useful, but this one right here is I fire played by vote, which you don't need SCT speed and it's just straight up 10% skill damage. I don't still. have that. What is that? It's, I think it's from the Vaughn. Of, is it from the Vaughn event? Maybe it's from the Vaughn event. Maybe uh, if we get yeah, a rerun. They would have to do a redux. Yeah. Yep. Um, but the salamander sword, yes, that's a good shout because obviously I don't, can't show it because I don't, I already used it to mm-hmm. craft, but so one of the weapons is... that I like, that's a more budget thing and it is tied to the tours, but it's tied to the early tours is the blazing bow high nail. You were showing mm-hmm. that. You were yes, showing yes. that. Mm-hmm. Big fan of that. Uh, that's a more budget option. You can upgrade it to plus 40. It goes to 144 strength, but it's got 3% crit rate and, uh, if when your HP is at least fifty percent, so like fifty percent or more, most of the time, fire attack damage ten percent. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Which, which is um, all fire attack. So it's, I don't I don't have God Blade, so I was trying to find like you know alternatives to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I, this is special there's arc skill. Really, there's really not everything. a lot of fire weapons in this game. <laughs> no. I mean, you just saw what I did. I mean, I, obviously, I'm, there's there, I know there's a fire axe. Um, there's a fire claw, but like it's there's really not that much. You're right. Is really not, and one one of the very few fire weapons in the game is uh, Dante's paid sword. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. that too. You it's a shame it? that you can't use that on Roy. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh that'd be paid too course. insane. Love him. Which insane. is, but it's also kind of nice because you know we we have an intelligence based DPS where this is the one of the first times in existence of an intelligence based based DPS that we don't really need the science flag. Yeah, that's True. pretty cool. I like that. That's a True. big step for people because, you know, Science Flag has been one of the most sought after Archie Rewards for the mm-hmm. last over a year. Oh, yeah. I felt um, it. Mm-hmm. I missed my And it's almost my, my it, second chance. It's not his best in the slot. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, Damus, the, the, the Fire Claw. We already know. Um, uh, the, the Phoenix Blow Claw, which I don't know if Claw will want him because it's not even best in the slot, so I'm not going to use it. So. It's people should look out for that the arc the reward in which mm-hmm. case I will go. You don't bring it up. have it. I have it, of course oh. I do. I'm just not using it. Got I can't it. equip it because I don't have it. Claw um, equip. I have claw equip. Mm-hmm. Uh, literally can't it's six. See it. star. It's, <laughs> it's as star. if it doesn't exist. This one. Yep. This one. It's very good. One of the um, first ARs uh, I claw, got. Claw equip is pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. So that's nice to have. Yeah, that's nice. Um, all right. So Roy's dope. So Roy's. Do you want to? <laughs> um, <laughs> shall Whole we move hour on? on how Roy is dope. Yeah, I mean, it deserves it. He's any anything that comes out that is on Lug level. I mean, it deserves the spotlight. So, uh, mm-hmm. well, shall we move on to the uh, not top tier level thing that came with him? Uh, but still very good. I, I don't want to shit on it too hard because it's no, it's it's it is very good. A very decent thing that they introduced. The game. Uh, Damus, can you put in chat what the level ten stats are so I can tell everybody instead of having it level one because I'm Look terrible. I have tweaks. That. He does. He <laughs> doesn't have his souls ready. That God I don't, Forge, I don't have any bro. souls, man. Like, look at this. Yeah. I mean, the God Forge takes precedence. I'm, I'm not going to use this for right. anything at the moment. I haven't even started either grinding it yet, just because I'm doing other stuff. 
Yeah, I want to get your sentiments on a couple things that this, you know, looks like it may be introducing. Um, yeah, Damos, I meant like the passives, like the whole thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not good enough. Not good enough. Uh, um, Damos I mean, does so much 10, behind on, wait, the scenes. Like, y'all don't even 10, know. It's 35% fire damage. Right. It's MP used times 25 for healing and 100% yep. special damage when one of your allies dies. Boom, is, I did it. Which is cool. The, the, the fire damage plus 35% is actually really, really good. That's so uh, much. That's so much mm, like that's a single big. element damage. And like you know what the most we've seen, right? But you know what does more damage than that, Crypt? What's that? Game Master with being a fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm up to 5,600 fish, my friend. That's literally 5, fish. You're max, almost there. 13 days. Damage from a swordsman's tail. Yes, and that has that requires an, a huge enemy. Right, uh, thirteen days. <laughs> yes, um, which is very cool. I mean, obviously, Although, I don't have the stats. Capped, I'm going. But... I'm going to the coast tomorrow and the next day, so I might not get in my full fishing those days. We'll see. Oh no, that's unfortunate. I should we'll be fishing right I'll, now. I'll, I'll probably have some downtime. Doing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. I would say for. In our, I mean, just a fire phys- a, a fire damage arc potential. Mm-hmm. Hi, hello. Um, and it comes with fire I mean, high drive, which is really nice. The real prize of the arc, honestly, um, is this, some of these skills, the, some of these new skills. Um, obviously, mm-hmm. fire high drive is fantastic for Roy and any other fire users. It, it's a very optimal skill for both fire skills and specials, which you're probably going to be using. Mm-hmm. Um What's different about it is skill one boost is the first thing we've ever seen of its kind. Yeah. Um, and I'm a, kind of excited for it because it's four SC essentially for plus 20% damage for the first skill. That is not bad. For alchemy users and for Roy especially um, who don't need SCT, um, this is pretty much just free real estate. Mm-hmm. Which I, was, is I was excited. Very, very usable. I was really paying attention to how much SC that was going to cost. And, um, yeah. and it's good. I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's good. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, fire drive is fantastic. Skill and boost. I mean, yes, it's raining. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. Is it stackable? Because, That's the question. Because Arena mm-hmm. is so insane with everybody dying left and right. Mm-hmm. I actually like that a whole lot. That's the too, 35% also, hint or whatever he, when somebody dies? 30%. But he is, does it really matter if you always have auto war anyways? Mm. I mean, it's not for him. For like other characters, which is pretty funny in the future, I guess it, it'll be useful. It's one of those skills that it will be useful at some point. Mm-hmm. It's just like not. It's not necessary. I'm, I'm right reevaluating now. my whole view on the arena again because like it used to be all right. We're focusing on a team where nobody ever dies. To all right, we're focusing on a team that dies and has to deal with recovering <laughs> and, um, and coming, comes back coming stronger. back from being dead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there's a lot of there's a lot of like new stuff that's getting a lot of play on my team and I'm I'm loving it. That's I yeah, love this. There's a lot of cool stuff. And I mean I'm a big we fan of you, rocket tag in the arena. You and I were talking last night like trying like playing around an arena and we both were using skills that are just like just bonkers. Um, yeah, I have, which is, I have which super is bad great. news for everybody in the arena. Uh, arena defense is over. Just yep. go ahead, pack it up, take it pack home. Pack it up. You know, there's no stall mat anymore. There's we it's, were like, it's gone. We were like, how do we solve this? Like, what does a defense against what's going on right now look like? And the answer is, we don't know. What, listen, what I can do um, over <laughs> a million no idea. against... I can do over a million damage against every single top 10 team. Yeah. That's not in, good. In like watched, under 20 seconds. Yeah, I watched <laughs> yes. Tweaks dish out a total damage of 1.4 million mm-hmm. in the top 10. Like, totally fine. It's Balanced, pointless. There's, there's nothing... There's absolutely um, nothing besides like what anyways, I was, we I can't mean, give, anyway. Listen, we can't give out all the sauce. We'll just yeah, say I know, I know. <laughs> Arena's, Arena is now more fun because of it. Right. Honestly, in my I hate of the course. stall meta. Is as effective as it was. It's not fun. Stall meta is crap. It's, I don't yeah, care exactly. if it's effective if it's not fun. It, it, does Damus have the um the copy pasta that he put in the chat about what Adis about us complaining about Arena and then what Adis just did? <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Um, if he funny. wants to post that, he can, but it's really, really funny. But let's go on to the arc of the reward. Yes. So, this is probably the prize of the arc itself. I mean, you're not chasing it for this, but it's if you do get the arc, this is why 
this, this would be fantastic for you. It's not bad um, at all. Yes. So the biggest of aspect of this is now the MP plus 80, which I don't. Ooh. I know most people, a lot of people will know this, but some people won't. Um, whenever you're calculating all the MP ups and the stat ups of a unit that you equip onto their kit, um, all of the basic stats like the MPs, the HPs, all that kind of stuff are multiplied into those stat ups. But what also gets added into the base pool is your equipment. So your equipment is all multiplied by all of the and this especially this ADMP is multiplied by all the MP ups that you put on. So this ADMP transfers can transfer to about 150 to 200 MP. I mean, not really that much, right? But like it's multiplicative. Yeah. Like you're not, which is extremely mm, significant. Which is this is the highest MP accessory that we've ever had. I mean, if you now that we yeah. now that we have this as well as the 77 MP butterfly. <laughs> 157, MP, 157 from MP, MP from your accessories <laughs> as well as the potential to get another 100 from your weapons right and having all of that multiplied with his normal kit why all the mp ups you can possibly get as well as the arc mp it's pretty ridiculous how high you can get mm -hmm. um, and if you're doing like wave stages or tower the sustain on it is actually very nice too i am yes. so excited for for both the prospect of both ed and roy and tower so for what this is Just really important for them. as well, <laughs> yeah. Um, for what this is really important as well, um, for units. Now I see this as, um, I mean, obviously, if you're going to be using it for units that have uh, pirates feast in tower and all that kind of stuff, that units that use SCT, right? Not these alchemy units. These right. these these crappy alchemy units, right? <laughs> um, these freak of nature units. Yeah, right. <laughs> these so, unlearned uh, how to play the game units. Yep. It is fantastic. Uh, I'm a big fan of this this AR specifically, specifically for Roy and Ed as being damage dealers and having that huge MP. That's like the, my biggest selling point. And I'm very excited to get it. Obviously, I haven't worked on it at all, but you know that'll just take time. That'll take souls, and which I do not have yet. You know, Idis is making good plays when tweaks can't keep up with the release. Hey, what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm keeping up. <laughs> Rick is keeping Wait, up with me, dog. I forgot. I, know, are I going forgot to ask. I forgot to ask the most important question of all. Hey, Tweaks, how do you feel about Roy's ward? <laughs> oh, I didn't look at it. 100 fire damage cap, let's uh, go! <laughs> see, the thing is, when we get five of those units... Red exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> that means I haven't, I haven't done it. I haven't done it either. <laughs> we will, totally um, could. We haven't will, done it. We will only ever see Tweaks activate those when they have multiples of five units that are available right. which is reasonable sure and then uh, at that I mean, point it's pretty good we're at like we're at like 200 well, for most we, well we have the machine the thing machine? for yeah. ed and yeah that's what other we, we have another fire damage one i don't know uh i feel I like know. eliza has Maybe. fire cap eliza i think is yes we have 200 fire cap i know that somewhere in the oh game. that's only 300 total even i am four season machine no, I'm getting, sorry. Close. getting close <laughs> yeah no I, i'm sorry i meant like 100 plus roy is 200 i think I don't think there are two others. So Yeah, but I meant with machine too. No. Here you oh, go. gotcha. But I yeah, I don't that. I hate Ward so much. <laughs> I mean to I be fair, he's single one. He's one of the units that like I could see using it on just because his trait two is a little wonky and it can be an, an off number, but mm -hmm. if I got him full stacks, I'm not I don't want that extra. I'm surprised. Look at my you trait two. It's so wonky. I, I mean like but those MP percentages though? Oh, you want me to get another 2 MP? <laughs> <laughs> so hey, instead of hey, 480 man. MP, I get three. 482. Hey, 2% of <laughs> a thousand. <laughs> get out of here. that 20, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I yep. think wards wards will be an exciting prospect when we have a lot a ton of, of them. them. Yes. yes. When you can give a and, unit 10% extra on things or like 500 to... A thousand damage cap. Then we're talking, but yeah, for for now they're kind of just meh. The yep. ones that aren't cap are more intriguing to me, like the one mm -hmm. percent damage, you know, whatever. Right. Um, my least favorite one in all of existence is Al. I knew you were going to say that it. is so beyond useless <laughs> and so random. It's it so is random. Beyond. I don't see the I connection. Don't I don't see the connection to the anime. I don't see the connection to his kit at all. You know, it would have been sick. <laughs> 
You know what would have been an amazing ward on him? You know what would have been such a good ward that I would have bothered to go and get it? Hmm. 100 HP. Boom. I want 100 more HP on every unit? Absolutely. That would have I would dope. unlock that. that would have 1% been ice resistance? GTFO. So I guess, weird. I guess it is a little bit... Okay. It's very weird. We're going we're gonna to conspiracy theory this, right? So the reason he has 1% ice resistance, tweaks cover your ears, is because in the show, right, when they're up in the north... And Ed can't do the thing because it's mm -hmm. like all cold and shit. Right. And Al's like, I made a fucking metal. And he just goes outside. <laughs> that's, that's, that's their interpretation of 1% ice resistance. I mean, that's the most logical thing I've I'm heard for it. Hard here, guys. You're but like, hard, dude. that's not even like that significant. Like, it's like, no. yeah. What? I know. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I'm going to be mad if they go out other units that have that because it's you guys <laughs> want to run. Um, some multi dragon one time. I will absolutely yeah. run. Yeah. Okay. Well, or we're we gonna snap to death. Yeah, we're gonna snap to death. Um. <laughs> well, you guys. We are. can. What would you like to bring? I mean. I mean, I, I don't. Can bring a friend if you'd like. I don't think. I mean. Should I not bring Luxaeus or no? We should because we bring, should just bring Lug. Yeah. We absolutely. should just nuke it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you mm -hmm. got the. You've got the UR, right? I do. I do. <laughs> I do. So you're, you're one, one or two or three it's or be four. Great. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be great. I am actually, uh, I am I am so happy that, because, you know, with Kagutsuchi, it was released, and it was like, okay, if you have Kyle or if you have a fire DPS, that's where this arc lands. But for God of Ruin, I mean, it's collectively as a team, the best breaker arc. Oh, as you pointed out. Good. Oh, no, it's pretty nutty. So it's yeah. like... And the only thing you really miss is the dark damage cap. The dark damage you know? cap, which is whatever. But, like, everything else it comes with, I'm like, this is actually, like, I am I can use this in many situations. I've, I've been running it on Roy in multiplayer. <laughs> right. And so it's that... Fine. that that I'm I'm happy. It makes... It's, it's uh, fulfilling to me that I didn't just get the dark damage or you are arc. Hey, I a think, quick question. Uh, what's, I think um, Panda wants to get in on this too. <laughs> I know he does. Um, what's, the, really what's the dragon's um, fire resist? Is it 70? I think oh, it is. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's 70, so I'm thinking I'm going to run Trishula. Yeah, it's high enough that Are Trish you is teaching um, him something? Advising. Uh, yeah, I'm getting dragon's fire. Ah. Real quick. Which is going to be great because, you know, dragons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does he have dark mm -hmm. resistance? I can never remember. Okay. All right, we're not bringing his level seventy-two Roy then. I got a replacement. Roy. Does um does the dragon have what? dark? Level resist? seventy-two Roy can cap. What are you talking about? It's fine. It's fine, <laughs> bro. Let him join. I know. I'm just messing with. Him. <laughs> bring, bring the homie. Let the homie. Um, the bully. Right. So with that said, um, Buddha, give me your friend ID. Oh yeah, that's right. Which you don't know it off the top of your head, which I'm disappointed about. Just Bro, FYI. I'm not. Just come on. It's 194 485 661. Now everyone knows, dude. Bro. The real secret mm. is Demos. <laughs> Demos is ghost. All right, so we need. Good. Are you going to bring that Dark Ruin UR Crypt? You're going to bring that too. And then sure. uh, Demos is going to bring Beast Hunter? BR Beast Hunter. Do you want to be our beast hunter? That's the question. Be our beast hunter again and bring extremely bad chemical or whatever so we can drop his. No, 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 up. no, no, no. We're not. He's, <laughs> he's, is he bringing Roy? He's bringing Roy now. Lug or baby Roy are our choices. Um, Did y'all say, did y'all answer the dark resist? Do you guys know off the top of your head? No idea. I do not, but you're going to want to run I think it's like 50. Oh, okay. All right. Use baby Roy. That's fine. Baby Roy, snap, 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 snap. Baby Roy, snap, snap, snap. snap. Okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Since I have you guys here, backstab is useless against this guy. Unless Correct. someone pulls him like a Baron, but right. that's Which the we, only we don't time. Really so let me just tweak a little bit. Ooh, very nice. I see, I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. um, I literally can't say that word without thinking of you, so thanks. Mm. You're so very welcome. <laughs> um, a, uh, I need there's a very very off. famous streamer whose real name is Chance. 
Uh, and every time somebody says chance to him or something, he's like, a what? <laughs> now, this is one certain position I would actually use um, flag in, which I'm going to. Because my I need if I want regular attacks, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to need them. Which, actually, I need to equip swords anyway, so we're actually going to do that. So we're going to do Scarlet Blade. Um, I think. Here's a question. Sky high. Is he in the sky or no? No. no. He's attached to the ground. Got it. <laughs> he is very much attached. Very much. This motherfucker is glued to the ground. Got it. Okay. Well, this will be good. Um, Let me do. Oh, I should do some pretty good damage. This is good. This is good. All right. I can uh, this I need to switch. Two. And I, Do you guys want me to run... Yeah, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's oh, fine. Come on. Y'all over here all worried about like what you're gonna run, and I'm just here like, all right, I'm ready for the room to open. <laughs> well, I don't have any. Uh, that's what I wanted. Hey, there you are. Oh man. I'm bringing God of Ruin then. It's fine by me. Oh, here oh. we go. That'll work. Sorry. Let me use that. Let me get some more MP. Snippy snap boy. Got one more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, fuck it, I'm not. I'm All right, and then about it. and then after uh, after this run, we should probably make our a little contest announcement. Oh mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Before we wrap everything up, I'm down. Um, do I have breaker on? That's the question. Do I need breaker on? Probably not. Do I want it? Yes. I love running breaker, especially with this boss. Okay, let me get breaker. All right, that should be well and good. Do I need pride? No, yeah. I don't. Yeah, Roy is definitely... He's a fun one to watch. Mm -mm -mm. I was very proud of my Michael Bay joke. <laughs> what was your Michael Bay joke? I said, if you if you love Michael Bay movies, Roy is the character for you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> I've always thought that all the sound effects in Michael Bay movies, like all the sounds of explosions should be just be replaced with people screaming Michael Bay's name. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would add, it would add a whole nother level. That would be to, uh, I'm really sad. Um, no, we're Roy. not bringing, uh, we're not bringing the clock arc, which is another good shout. The mm -hmm. eternal clock. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, if you use multiple of them, it does stack. Oh, which Crypt yeah. and I were running Omega um, the other day, and we were literally running one Beast Hunter and three Clock Arcs, and we were breaking him, and it was just the most the funniest thing. Like, so it would it would break right. We get to like the half health mark, and then we'd break it there, and during its break, we'd get it down to its next health threshold, mm -hmm. and wait out the whole timer, and it would still be in break. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, there were many fights where she did not do Fire Harvest at all. Oh yep. my god. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was amazing. Three clock arcs That one sounds center. like the meta to me. It was beautiful. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, y'all just do your thing. That's fine. It's fine, dude. Everything this is fine. Okay. Everything's is fine. fine. It's literally it's fine. the meme. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast cancel, so just FYI, in case anyone's paying attention. This, yeah, is, gonna, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and stand next to you so we can compare. Okay. Um, all I'm right. just gonna smack him. I'm just gonna use the arc skill though, because why not? Yep. All right, you're down here in the bottom. Let's I'll... let's go down to like the back corner. Okay. Because I've got Magellan on. I mean, I'll hey, use buddy. mine too. I'm gonna go. Since we're using arc skills. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. <laughs> now somebody needs to use their ult, and it'll be like the public uh... experience. <laughs> now we can't see anything. I can't see anything. There uh... we go. I'm going in. I'm going in. Hey, All there's right. the break. <laughs> if oh anyone God. has done this. Um, this it's doesn't the firing seem okay. Squad. This does it's not. literally the firing squad. This... I told you the firing squad I... was gonna be great. <laughs> uh, what? What's a really What's a really good idea on a boss without HP locks? A lot of damage. Um... <laughs> oh, <the> damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can uh, do we all agree that the oh no sticker is the best sticker in the game? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we need. You. Uh, 29 second clear on my screen. I don't know what, what you got, Twix. The uh, question is, did Deimos Beast Hunter or not? He did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. he did. You just got I was paying attention. Drops. I was literally just, I was just literally spamming. So like, I 28 I seconds. I have had some miserable runs in that stage. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just and that not was like totally necessary. Branded. Like none of us, none of us hit our MP threshold at all. None of us had to switch over to regular attacks. We all just ran in and just 
mash Death three as hard as we could. I haven't. Until everything yeah, was dead. I haven't watched his his bar go down that fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Stuff. I mean, we've shown a four loot running that. And it's pretty much the same thing. Right. Um, yeah, that's true. I but yeah, that. it's it's pretty nutty how much damage the both both of those units put out. Mm-hmm. So so disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's a beautiful. Oh beautiful. yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Right. Yeah. Um, is it announcement time? I think so. I think finally announcement time. I think so. So, Crit, I would like to leave the floor to you. Since this is Crip's, uh, he's initiating this. We're all on board. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, we are going to be announcing our first contest. And Crypt is going to give you the details. Absolutely. So, we're going to have a last Cloudieth summer themed art contest and uh to a lot of people what art means is like oh it's gonna be a drawing contest or you know i gotta i have to draw a picture and submit no no this is an art contest there are many kinds of art any kind of art that you can imagine writing music if you want to write a song if you want to do a please don't write a weird fan fiction if you want to do a <laughs> fan fiction or something it you know, it's what whatever <laughs> art means to you if it can be produced if you if you can create it and provide it to us in a manner that we can judge it against other entries. It is art. It counts. So we're taking as many entries. There's no like limit on how many people can enter. In fact, the more people enter, the better the prizes are going to get. Um, we've got stuff for first, second, third, and then we're going to have like a community vote award. Um, Demos has provided us with a great set of channels in the official Discord. Uh, where you will be able to submit your uh, entries. Uh, then there's another channel where we'll be able to vote on them as a community. So that's really cool. Um, first prize. Actually, let's let's do this. The, let's do this backward. Right, we're gonna mm-hmm. do the run up. Mm-hmm. So the community vote award will be a ten dollar Google Play or Apple Store gift card, depending on which one you're on. Uh, and there will be a Discord role for the main Discord. Buddha can apply it in his too if he wants to. That's that's on him. Um, I'm down. Third place is also gonna be ten bucks. Uh, second place is going to be a $25 gift card. And first place is going to be a $50 gift card and a Discord roll in, you know, all, all the stuff. Um, so that's that's Some the announcement there. Uh, submissions are opened starting today. Or uh, no, yeah, yeah. Submissions are open starting today. Uh, we will close the submissions August 5th, which is two weeks from today. And then the 12th, which is the following week, We'll announce the winners on the show. We'll distribute prizes and stuff like that. Um, the judges for this, me, Tweaks, Buddha, Demos, you know, just the the kind of behind the scenes podcast crew plus the podcast crew. And then obviously you guys, the community. Our communities are gonna be able to vote on these. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we got we got that going on. We got some some prizes secured. I haven't talked to Itis or anything about this. This is just a, I want to give back to the community thing. And I've seen other like streamers and other communities and stuff do stuff like this. So I wanted to do something like that. Um, you know, I, I love and appreciate this community so very much that I wanted to be able to give something back to it. And this seems like a good way for everybody to win. So, um, <clears throat> you know, look, look to the news and stuff for more announcements on that and how to get into the submission channels and all those things. Actually, but, yeah, yeah, I was just uh, about to ask um, as a devil's advocate and looking at the LC Discord right now, I don't see anything that I can jump into. Or is it mm-hmm. what I be placing in the fan art corner or the content creation? What what would I be going into right now? So, because, you know, I have so much good art to, art to get show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, so Demo sent a message about this in one of the chats. He said he's going to open a submission channel which will allow people to only post images or links. I think videos might be a possibility there, but we'll have to tinker with that and see exactly how it works. Um, message history is disabled, so users won't see submissions unless they like sit and watch the channel, basically. So don't, don't do that. People will submit them. We'll get them. It'll be fine. Uh, and then once we close all of the uh, submission... We'll open up the voting channel. We'll put in the things that are eligible for voting. You will vote on them via just reactions. You don't have to say anything. Um, we're trying to find a way to like you know make it so each person gets one vote. We'll we'll iron out some of the details because that's a little ways down the road anyway. But for now, um, just keep an eye out for that submissions channel opening up, and awesome. there there will be like a news push about that yeah. too. I'm sure. And if cool. you want to enter in on my Discord, uh, just throw it in the art channel, and then either I or someone else will do a good job of then carrying it over to the official channel over on the LC main discord, just so everything's, you know, streamlined over there. 
Yeah, and as long as everybody's name and everything's tied to it, we'll yeah. we'll make sure that everyone gets proper credit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, that's the that's the big thing we've been teasing for a couple weeks. Um, I wanted to iron it out and make sure that all of those things were even possible, and it seems like all of them are possible, and everybody's on board. So we are we are full steam ahead. Cool. So whatever whatever like summer means to you in association to like Last Claudia, just something summer themed, something Last Claudia themed. I'm really excited to see what comes out of, you know, all, yeah. all of you folks. There's yeah. going to be a lot of speedo rays, dude. <laughs> I can't wait for it. I can't oh, wait. Oh, man. This is you're this gonna, is you're gonna burn my eyes. Kind of <laughs> yeah. Burn Leon, my eyes. Leon's going to have a ball. <laughs> I um, mean, we do have some pretty good artists in the, in the Discord as we well do. as in the whole community. So it, it will be fun to, to go ahead and yeah. look at it and see all the, all the, uh, Yes. All the content that people provide. I'm super excited because I think I was t talking with Crypt. I don't know if you were there, Tweaks, but uh, just getting fan art. I, I told him uh, a health, um, an indicator to a healthy game, a gotcha game, whatever game, is a nice healthy flow of fan art or yep. just artwork. It means you got a good fan base, game's doing well, people care. So I was extremely excited about this when, when Crypt first talked about it. Yeah, and just, yeah, you know, want to, want to be able to give back to people because mm -hmm. you know it's, this takes up a lot of my time. Like I play this game a lot. I interact with no people kidding. about this game a lot. Yeah, um, <laughs> I barely, play, I barely play anymore. <laughs> it's become a staple in my <laughs> daily life, uh, uh, and I and I just believe that the the community around it should be supported. And you know, I've I've long been one of those people who like instead of going to Twitter or instead of going to Instagram and being like, hey, I need an artist to you know make me emotes or whatever. It's like, all right. I got 50 bucks for whoever in the community wants to give me some emo. I like it. I would so much rather bring it to our people. Mm -hmm. than, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a big community building thing, and I'm a, first and foremost a believer in the community. Yeah. Fully yeah. support it. And um, I was going to say something, but maybe I, I, I might. Actually, I'm not <laughs> going to say it. Because, uh, you know, the Ida staff did a fan art competition as well. And it was actually pretty funny and entertaining when, when Kit and Takasan reviewed all the artwork. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to, I was going to say, and I guess I'm going to say it just that I imagine there, there, you know, what they selected to look at was had to be at least PG 13. Maybe I'd say ours. <laughs> this one's probably a little. Bro. Less <laughs> okay. Don't, I'm a don't go submitting terrifying. a bunch of like <laughs> safe for work art. Because I want to be able to That's like, true. show it on my stream. That's true. Yeah. No, I'm not talking um, about you know pornography. On the, yeah, no, we're yeah, not yeah. talking all that. <laughs> well, okay. So you you open this can of worms. You I were did. saying <laughs> you were saying one thing that indicates a healthy community is like the art community. Yeah. And I'm gonna say one thing that represents a healthy community is the R34. Oh God. Art surrounding. And I'm not gonna go any further into that. No. We're gonna leave it at that. But um, mm -hmm. I haven't really seen. But anyway, no, no, <laughs> yeah. never, never mind. We're not going there. Yeah, no, we need to stop. We're not going there. I'm sorry. I opened that door. I'm sipping. I just finished it's a can fun. of White Claw. So, oh, man. oh yeah, that's an excuse, right? There. Ain't I no slip. laws when you're slip. You know, claws. you know, I'm just, you know, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> One White Jeez, Claw, and I'm man. off the rails. Come, come on, man. <laughs> oh, my God. What's wrong with you? Oh, you, well, I have. We've had these sitting in the fridge forever, and you know, they're my girls, but she ain't drinking them, so I'm like. Someone's got to do it. I mean, I'm not thinking, talking about the White Claws. Those are delicious. Oh, yeah. White Claws are great. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can get two seconds real quick just before we go. Oh, just you're going to do something? Just give me a second. Oh, just seeing if I can get it. You've been One setting something up. I want to see if it's possible. Okay. Um, It might be. Logsley's got two seconds. This is obviously yeah. not optimal, but we're going to see if we can do it. Uh, oh, something um, we didn't even talk about. Um, We have the new... IGC three Insta clearer. Yes, Roy. Mm -hmm. Um, in which case, um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my video right now, which is on YouTube, and of course, it does require phone booth, right. which is a skill from the mobile office arc LR arc from the DMC collab. But if you have that and you have Roy, you can now consistently clear IGC three without having to use a mage or anything. Oh God, this is literally that. just Roy. And and you know what? Oh. It's all explained in there, the importance of auto running and being consistent clears and I was quick gonna, quest completions. I was going to ask, yes. did you put the details on why, you know, having phone booth in there? Because, you know, someone yes. may ask, okay. 
because someone may ask, oh, yeah, it's, oh well, it's all in the description. Why do I need skill stocks? Because he can spam skills. It's all about the AI. So, if you want to read the specifics, Tweaks has that in the uh, description. Okay, that was very fast, and I didn't even use an arc skill. I don't even know what hey. you did. I was I actually um, looked away, and everything's dead. I don't know if I did. Are you it. on the right difficulty? <laughs> 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 when, when, um, when the unit is so good, you're not sure you're on the right difficulty. Right. It was still three. All right, give me a second. I don't know what mm. you're trying to do. Um, what I'm trying to do is kill this entire thing very quickly. Ah. In which case, gotcha. I'm going to raise the cap. Just one. Just just for As, a second. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I, it's hard for me to like be impressed by anything with Fine Tyria after you did what you did with Lug with Lug. Mm -hmm. So. But have you seen the zero second clear yet? <laughs> Is that what this guy does? No. No, that's oh. not this, but... No, that's... What, DB Ray? DB Ray? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it! It's <laughs> a lot of sauce, dude. It's a that's lot a of that's sauce. That's pretty... <laughs> no, that's pretty insane. That's a lot of sauce. <laughs> oh, Alright, if that wasn't God. three, give me one more go. I think I screwed that one up. Just, just saying. Give me one more go, and then we'll we'll kick it. We'll kick this oh, out of here. Man, and that wasn't. Yeah, it's still three. Three. You're trying to get that two. Mm -hmm. Which is incremental, right? So like, I don't know how close I am. I wish I had. I wish I had more crit, which unfortunately. We've been holding these poor people hostage for like an hour and a half. Now. I was gonna <laughs> say, uh, based no off signing. based off the last couple podcasts, it's it's it seems like our new our new time is an hour thirty, an hour and a half. We're gonna do plus eight crit. So <laughs> let's see if these we're so. power creeping the podcast. Right. I need yeah, I need to teach him to teach him ardor. I think that's my issue here. All right. Well, geez, how are you, how long are you gonna hold us hostage, Tweet? I mean, one more hostage. I added the bow for a plus eight percent crit. Let's yeah. see if it works. This man knows when he has a captive audience. Mm -hmm. Well, these are the guys. Like, the people in the is still here. They they stay for the bro. after hours. Because like, what if what if you leave? Then you can't get back in, and you might Correct. miss something. You know, you might you might miss some yep. ridiculous. So for those nonsense. for those like of you, this nonsense right here. Good yes. God. So for those of you who don't li uh, listen live afterwards, right? You see the cutoff version at the end, but then there's like usually at least forty five minutes of extra time if you stay where tweaks runs off and does this does stuff and we all just wait he's tweaks hang along for the ride and did i just mistakenly teach him order <laughs> i think i just did just accidentally <laughs> i just taught him order and i wasn't even trying to yeah you gotta know good stuff i just accidentally successfully fished that was pretty impressive. failing upwards um man i wish i could fish more today what do you mean you wish you could fish more? You can fish more. I can't fish more. I'm out of fish. Just go, to, just go to another count and fish, dude, and you're fine. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> that's, that's that's not the reason for which I enjoy fishing. That's pretty funny. I need the summer event to have a fishing thing again. Because wasn't there a fishing mm -hmm. thing last summer? There was for um the 1.5 year anniversary. Mm. Because it was when I was in, in game. No, it was New Year's. I'm sorry. New Year's. They did an extra fishing spot on the. Um, that was extremely fast, but I think it was on nice. the first island. That's yeah. Just I need more fish. Looking. I need to be able to catch a thousand a day. I think Luke is the only person in the two-second club, man. Really? Wow. Well, def definitive proof that mm -hmm. Luke is better than Roy. You heard it here first. <laughs> One whole right. second, and it's not—it's probably not it. even a whole second. I gave it my best. Yeah. You, you yeah, tried. Impressive. I tried. I failed. I failed. Miserably. I know. Like Roy, sub tier unit garbage. Just summon for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, man, both their banners are up. All right. That's a very valid comparison to be made right this second. It actually is. You're not wrong. But I think it's Roy. It's so much. That it's such a like, Roy, misguided take. It is. But Roy. <laughs> it really is. Actually, that's a good way, I'd say, to end this podcast is your guys's opinions our opinions on like for a new player who's more worth that's a hard call who's more who's more worth out of all three banners definitely not ed he's, he's not um but wow all right so units yeah, wise, what's on units wise i would say for a, a person is starting today they're looking for their first carry they're looking at okay, roy so they're looking here's at luke the thing. 
here's the thing. Being able to use skills at zero stocks is the most mind-blowing thing and counterintuitive thing in this this game has ever had. So it makes me angry when I play other units. Yep. Yeah. Um it's essentially having Pirates Feast in an Infinite Pirates Feast on every single unit. <laughs> like mm -hmm. in at the at the start of waves. So like This game's completely changed. If you have Ed or Roy, your your whole understanding of the game itself is completely different than everyone else who has played before you. Your experience is going to be very different. That very is an different. Interesting right? take, but I mean it's true. Yeah, just that when you say it, it's it's. <laughs> is the question go, like there are interesting implications? Right, right. I think they're the. I think they are the top two units ever. To, to begin an account with. To begin an account Because with. of the utility of being... I mean, alchemy is unlocked right away, right? They, they have it off the rip. Yes. So, your first map, you can just go in and use skills. Correct. I mean, you're I not, you might not have I, MP regen, you might not have everything else, but like... That's what your I was... ability to prog Your ability to progress through the story based on these units mm -hmm. um, is better than it's ever been. Sure. I will... I was going to say I was going to add on to that is... The overpoweredness of the alchemy ability is much yeah. more prevalent when you have your goddess kiss, when you have your pose of honor, when you have yes. your MP ups to make that MP pool big. Because, you know, now I'm starting to run these characters at base during my showcases, like literally just their kit, no add-ons, no nothing. And, I mean, it, it's not. Ed, like, with no help in the MP pool slash regen area it does not feel the same as your right and you were also supported. running you were also running a fine theory of god with 2.6 million Which hp one stage. with that right and most of story is never gonna have any of that right you're right um you're right so yes and no and um, even most, the most things won't live to an ed or um roy s3 in story you're right even without your show even without anything so progression wise yes and quickness of like going through everything yeah they, they help a lot even with an end game build it was very clear between when i went back into finteria and when i went into encroaching dead that like the performance of ed which just uh, an alchemy character in general on a multi-wave yep. stage yeah you're totally right it's 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 mind-boggling mm -hmm. so cool i, so, I think but... i agree with the, all that obviously between the two of them as far as like which one is more worth mm. to acquire my my whole rationale there for people you know not me who don't have to have everything the very second it comes out it's probably going to be a larger window of time before roy is obtainable again as opposed to luke in fact luke will eventually probably show up on a selector way down the road like we had for the rest of the DOH units, you know, like we just yep. saw with SM Theory and everything. And I mean, it'll be it'll be a significant amount of time, but that is much more certain a thing than when this collaboration is going to rerun. Because like, think about how long ago ReZero was, and we've had like neither hide nor hair of rerun of that. Um, so, you know, you what? know, with I would try that's super. Scenario. That's a really good point. What with that said, this? though, I would say. I guess you don't really need it for these characters, but I would say... You don't need it, any of them, because they're all OP as crap. <laughs> I'm saying for apple pie. Mm -hmm. That's well, apple like pie one thing that people have waited after it's Honey Elixir. Time. After Honey Elixir, we, first of all, we didn't have really use for Honey Elixir when it first came out, because you know Global had a, a strong MP nerf, which people might know, not know what that is, but we had like a third of the total MP pool that JP had. For well, I, we don't know the reason. It was you know, spaghetti code, but you know they, they just decided to, to no, no, they deliberately right, they just, did it. They deliberately they nerfed the MP for global. They were testing it on us, um, which we're is fine, tea. whatever. But we didn't really know the beauty of Honey Elixir until we finally got unnerfed. Um, but in that meantime, we had SLM, um, and then we had the rerun, and people had Honey Elixir. And since we've gotten that unnerfing, um, everyone who doesn't have it 
and I'm saying people like there's a lot of people in the community that have been playing for forever that don't have it, have wanted it or something like it. Yep. This is we've waited almost a year and a half to get it back again. Um, so if you're gonna chase anything in the banners right now, um, unfortunately none of this stuff is pitiable unless you use pay crystals and the arcs aren't even pitiable in the first place at all. Um, so it's tough to tell people to chase that arc, but I think we've explained enough last time as how good apple pie is for sure like but that's the funny thing about that is as good as apple pie is for almost every character in the game these two units have little to no use for it and are yeah that's essentially funny. have a built <laughs> essentially have an infinite skill 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 use ceiling so Luke, like Luke, as much as i want as much as i right as much as i want to say chase that arc chase that arc the alchemy of these units if you're going to be using these units for a long time which you know they're going to be power crept eventually which is hard to imagine um eventually right what doesn't get crept are arcs and skills yep and being able to apply those to different units so like as old as the som arc is arcs are from you know the second or third month from this games came out second month i guess they're still some of the most met meta skills in the game, even mm -hmm. if the units are literally the wor some of the worst. So, right. I mean, and that's a saying a lot because I actually still Prim and Papoy and Randy are actually still not bad units. It's just like you know, matter of fact, power craft, right? Yes. So, well, to I would. That, <laughs> it's very important. It is. It is, and you have a really good point. But I do actually have a point that I would still tell. Like a brand fresh new baby account. Oh, brand fresh new. Brand fresh new. I would the order in my like if someone asked me, if you're just banging out luck, I, the order in which I would go for these options would be Roy, Wop, and then Lug maybe. Why I put Roy ab above is how you're talking about power creep. While Roy might get power crept in the future. Well, he will. It's it's inevitable. No matter you know, we don't know how long it'll take, but he he's an insta clear IGC three character. Now, you, like you said, you need phone booth in order to do that. But we might get stuff. For but that. we might get stuff that can replace that effectiveness and the ability to auto farm in this game is so fucking crucial. Mm -hmm. that to just be able to have access to a character that can that it, that can be part of the puzzle to uh, get the most efficient clears i think ups roy's value by so much i think so too. including and, everything you guys said and you know what's what's funny about that is you can use roy i mean he gets quick trigger innately right and he does work a third of the time um and if he gets his s3 on the on the off chance he gets his s3 which is 33 percent Mm -hmm. he will shoot it off so even at that it's still better than most units mm -hmm. clearing i just see three yep um still very very useful even without the uh phone booth right so so yeah cool he brings a lot of utility he brings some of the yeah. best damage we've ever seen in this game and not on i don't i wouldn't say on par with Lug, but or the closest out of any other unit we've ever had yep um if these two units lately Lug and roy are easily the top two PDBS, followed by probably Ed, and then shift a little bit. So, yeah, keep that's in mind the thing. how good these how good these units truly are at this right. moment. Ed is still fucking crazy. Like yep, if you're looking good. at the whole game and you have so Ed, fun. you have you're set, you're chilling for a yep. very long time. So don't be. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's it's difficult when they release these crazy characters back to back. But um, you know, don't lose sight of the big picture for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, everything in everything in this collab. We didn't get to talk. Oh God, it's been we're we're going on so long. We didn't get to talk. <laughs> we didn't get to talk about our our. I mean, I think we can pretty much have our final impressions of the collab. I don't. They're right. We have. I mean, you pretty much explained it very well in your. Like videos and stuff mm -hmm. there's really just it's an amazing quality of life grind for these units but there's really not much going on in the collab no. itself no it's like, all about the arcs it's all about the units this yep. is this is they've really collabs lately um 
have been mostly about the stuff in them and not necessarily the story behind them and the story in them. The Doctor like, Stone rerun I thought was great. Doctor Stone rerun was what do you mean great? Um, well, just for the, uh, I mean, I guess that's that's subjective, but the amount of grinding that you needed to do in order to get your characters farmed up, um, it just provided something like there was no shortage was, of things to do in that. Collab. Yeah, it, it was a huge like event. Sure. Like, there was a lot of things to do. Yes, with the um, crafting system. While they that. tried to make like the slaying stuff a thing, like no mm-hmm. one really. Mm-mm. I mean, people don't really either. prioritize that. Like, it's not a thing where you're you're gonna do. Oh, I have orbs. I should go slay something. Like, right. no, you're no, um, not oh. really doing that because the the rewards, especially from the event, if you use Alphonse, even if you use Alphonse or and two other units, you're getting plus one hundred forty percent, um, plus one hundred one hundred forty percent event points right away. Like, you're going to finish these the the event point rewards and all the farming stuff pretty quickly. So like yes, a lot of people were done the first days of every update. Yep. Um, there's really not much. There's not much motivation to f- do the event outside of that once your units are done. Yeah. They have yet to live up to the standard that they set for DMC. It was so good. It had everything. It had music. It had a good soul grind. It had a unique boss fight. Like, we got to fight your Eisen. That was mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a very unique thing to that collaboration. It had Bloody Palace, which was super yep. cool. Um, and then this is like such a step backward to if, if this unit right. or if this didn't have good arcs and units, this would be like a slime level event mm. in people's eyes. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. slime was just yeah. this, but with shitty units and arcs, <laughs> literally pointless. Yeah, without without the soul grind and without really good. Yeah, without the soul grind, so it was like even worse. So the That's soul grind from awful. this. And then literally everything else from DMC. Put those two things together, and then like I don't know, maybe add the boss rush from Secret of Mana or something like that, and you've got like the perfect right. event. Yep, <laughs> yep. Satisfying grind, new kind of event altogether, and then some kind of like boss rush, like you said, would be would be would have been so sick. They could have done so much with this collab, but you know they can't be perfect every time. I try and give them a little slack, but. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Like you said, we got it was this this collab was all about the characters and the arcs. It we really was that. all about the they nailed it. The stuff that came out those. of it. <laughs> they did. They did. They did a really they good job. Unit. Hence why we talked about it for two hours and then an hour and a half last podcast. Dude, it's only been forty nine minutes. What are you talking about? Forty nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no man. it's already been two hours oh crazy oops yeah whoops whoops you never see the power creep coming folks you never see the power creep coming yeah until it hits you but, sorry uh, sorry we finished the first hour on finishing roy so we like... did that's <laughs> true yes so you just say here tweaks you can just talk forever it's fine oh i, I it's great it's the best thing i've ever done <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't do it. No, this was all Crip's idea. He's the one who started these. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you mean? I, think, I have, I I have no a record. Responsibility for anything. I have a record, bro. It's on yeah, that's my true. Comments. You do have those deeds, huh? Yes. There's a not. Shit. There's more than one Skynet in the building, bro. Well, <laughs> well more, more than the, one person. Except one of them. Stuff. One of them is way too lazy. <laughs> so. Well, I guess um, as the most toxic person in the community, I guess. I can tell we got a dip, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we should, uh, we should call this one. It was a good one. I enjoyed it. Um, but with all that being said, guys, that's all we got for you this time. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for everyone who listened. Uh, thank you to my two co-hosts. As always, uh, we've still got some exciting things ahead. A uh, new unit coming out next week. So uh, so much stuff. Oh. It's going to be a good time. So uh, look forward to next week. And don't forget about the contest. Don't forget about the contest. And with all that being said, guys, y'all know what we say. Work hard, play harder. See you in the next podcast.